we are here with one of our guest speakers, Rufai Husseini. Rufai is one of the speakers here today on the CEO Apprentice. Rufai, can you tell us what your um, field of expertise is? Uh, I do business, a lot of business and media. Uh, currently, I'm working with a couple of people on a startup. Uh, it's going to be like a, sort of a, an e-commerce startup, and uh, and I invest in other businesses as much as I can. And, okay. and uh, so I'm, I'm a serial entrepreneur, but my day job, well, a lot of people know me for us, is being on the radio from 6 to 10.30 every morning on Inspiration FM. Okay. I'm making people laugh. Perfect. That I just one very part of me. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you have planned for the students today? A lot. You know, I, I just want to tell them to move to the next level. What I'm going to be telling them is going to be revolutionary mm -hmm. because we need to rewrite the story, the African narrative. Uh, it's been skewed all this while. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they've been giving us things, I mean, day, the West. And we, it's time to turn that around. So uh, it's going to be inspirational, revolutionary, getting them to the very next level and helping them understand the basics of, of business. Perfect. And then the final question um, What's kind of prompted you or enticed you to take part in this program? I'm excited, you know, because I always want to give back uh, the possibility of talking to the young generation. Mm -hmm. Some say our generation has failed already. I don't believe so. I think we can still rewrite the narrative, but it's harder. Yeah. But but if they're, you know, given the right information, I think they can do that, what we've failed at, and it's painful. We shouldn't allow this brain drain continue. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm, I'm sounding like a 1960 <laughs> African leader, like a part of Nkrumah now, but it's true. The dynamics are, are really very scary, and Africa has a lot. Mm -hmm. Africa has the richest continent yet has the poorest people. And you can change that. I was just sharing, I was just sharing with somebody uh, before I started my session that mm. the, the endowment fund of St. John's College in Oxford mm -hmm. is more than the GDP of Sierra Leone, or almost more than, wow. or half of the GDP of Sierra Leone. Mm. So, and, and how can you, you know, invest in education? Yeah. And don't, don't get me wrong, Sierra Leone has got a very wonderful college. I've got a lot of friends that went to that school, Fra Bay College, in Sierra Leone. And, uh, you know, don't get me wrong, and, and it's, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing what we can do when we have the right information. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, yeah.